So it is time to test out the gaming performance on the new Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air 13.3. 2017 edition you could call it so this is the one that has an upgraded gpu which is now the nvidia mx 150 as you can see here now this has 384 cuda cores and it's running two gigabytes of double data rate 5 samsung memory there so that's dedicated graphics of course much faster than you'll find any of the integrated intel solutions the cpu is an i5 7200u and I'm monitoring at the moment the temperatures and I will also be using a thermal probe to check out and see just how hot it's going to get. So keep an eye on the frame rates that are displayed in the upper left hand corner. So here I'm going to start out with Battlefield 4. Now the settings I'm using at the moment, I'll show you the settings of each individual game here. This is 720p on the low preset. I think that's fair enough for this GPU. Now bear in mind that this is not a gaming laptop. Yes, I need to activate Windows. I need to sort that out soon, but I'll get around to that. But first, let's have a look at gaming performance. So here we go, 45, 50 frames per second at the moment. That's not particularly bad considering it's 720p. I don't think the ping rate is very good on the server though, Join. So we're 75 degrees on the CPU and 70 on the GPU already. Don't imagine I'm going to last long here. Oh, tank, 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 tank. Yay, you got a kill, and I died. But this one is definitely playable, which is good to see. Just make sure you keep it on the lowest settings. And this one is Rise of the Tomb Raider on the lowest settings again, 720p again. And we're scraping 30 frames per second, so when the action gets kind of heavy, I imagine that it will dip down and lag. But it does look like it's going to be playable at least. Next up I'm going to test out Fallout 4 with the resolution again at 720p and on the lowest settings there. So let's see how it runs. So this is looking quite good actually. We're hitting the VSync limit here of the 60 frames per second. Even with a lot being rendered on screen. Well, it's dropping down a little bit to 55. So I'm in my power armor here, so I'm just going to jump down here. And I can see it's dipping down a little bit. 41. But really, I think you're going to be fine with this game. It's not really that demanding. So this one's going to be perfectly playable. You could probably even tweak the settings up a little bit if you wanted some more visual details. Next title is Project Cars. Now I'm going to leave it at the native screen resolution of 1080p and the recommended settings here and see if it can handle it. I've got a feeling that it will actually be able to do this. So it's not the highest settings of course you can see there. but. Reasonably demanding, so let's see how it performs. Okay, so it's under 30 frames per second, not looking too good. Actually, not looking too bad, 40 frames per second. Sorry, really poor driving from me. It's been a while since I've played this game. But you can see that, yeah, this is going to be definitely playable, this one. Now, if you want 60 frames per second, just lower the resolution and a few of those settings. Run it at maybe 720p again and tweak the settings down. And this one, I think you can get a constant 60 frames per second. Looking good.
Now this last title is Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm gonna go with 1440x900 resolution. For some reason it came up with these settings and I'm pretty much just gonna run with these. Um, some of these settings, the more demanding ones, are toned down a little bit, but you could even tone down the population density and all these other ones. So those are the settings there. Lots of things are still on high. So we'll see how it runs. You can see at the moment here, we're getting around 53 frames per second, 58. Not actually doing bad at all, considering it still looks very good with these settings. So let's jump in a car now and check out the performance at high speed. Notice that the CPU is hitting 80 degrees. I've seen it get up to 81. So, I mean, it is getting hot, but we'll check the thermals in just a second. Down to about 40 frames per second there, but this game, clearly very playable on this hardware. No problems. You're just going to have to tweak those settings there to um, your own personal preference there to get the best performance and visuals on it, but it's looking good. So let's have a look now at our thermals because I can hear those fans are on high speed. So maximum temperatures are 81 degrees and yes, we have had thermal throttling as I would expect on this hardware. So it is getting quite hot there. Now also bear in mind too that the settings and the performance you've seen at the moment is all dependent on the drivers, which I don't have the latest drivers on here. So the NVIDIA drivers do need to be updated and that in turn should increase performance a little bit, maybe just a few percent or something like that. So it's getting up to 81 degrees internally, but what about the chassis, the housing here? Wow, that is so hot. That feels like it is almost going to not burn you, but getting close to it. Let's have a look now with the thermal probe. So just at the top here, this is where the exhaust vent is. We're up to 48 degrees. That is really hot, 47 there. Palm rest area is 39, which is still quite warm. And around 36 here. So it is definitely heating up. Now I didn't show you any real lengthy gameplay there because that's not the idea. The idea is just to quickly show you the game, have a look at the frame rate and have a look at the temperatures here and clearly not showing off my elite gaming skills there because I, I did some shocking gameplay in that video. I do apologize for that. I just don't really have much time to game anymore. So the great news is that yes, you can play a lot of new titles and demanding games on this hardware, but you're gonna have to lower the screen resolution, not on all of the games, but some of them. Great to see that Project Cars can run in 1080p and you can even run Grand Theft Auto 5 900p on some of those settings which are tweaked up below the lowest. So you can game on the side here, but as you've seen, if you're going to game for extended periods, that it's going to get scorching hot. I would use a laptop cooler on this, definitely, if you're going to be gaming for over an hour or so because this thing just cooks itself. It gets very hot. The same problem with the earlier 2016 the first model. So really things have not improved with the thermals here. Thanks a lot for watching this gaming review and I do hope to catch you back with the full review of the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Air 13.3 2017 edition.